static or very clear, which he is about to do. And we'll be able to see this clearly in retrospect in a minute. Two years before the earthquake. The third year we just were speaking of. Two years would be in the fifth year. Okay? Two years before the earthquake. And then we get to this. Thus saith the Lord for three transgressions of Damascus and for four. I will not turn away the punishment thereof because they have threshed Gilead with threshing instruments of iron. Oh, there's a, there's a big diamond there, but we're going to cover it some other time. But I will send a fire into the house of Hazael, Hazael, which shall devour the palaces of ben Hadid. I will break also the bar of Damascus and cut off the inhabitant from the plain of Avon and him that holds the scepter from the house of Eden. And the people of Syria shall go into captivity unto curse, saith the Lord. I remind you, this is the most accurate historical document in existence and a constant figure of the end from the beginning and throughout ancient times. Everything is shadowed. Everything is pictured. Amos... 3 6 he does nothing without declaring it to his servants the prophets especially regarding his son's return that he tells us to be awake for be children of the day watching ready on oh, another section we know Damascus shall be a ruinous heap For three and for four. Now we couple this with the two years before. And we get into the third year, into the fourth year, to the fifth year. So in the third year, two years before the earthquake. Earthquake's coming. Look at the sixth seal. bigger earthquake coming in the bowl judgments but that is later after all sheep are home verse 6 thus saith the Lord for three transgressions of Gaza and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof because they carried away the, a captive the whole captivity to deliver them to eat them but I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza we know from another place in scripture, Gaza shall be forsaken. Yeah. Verse 11, thus saith the Lord for three transgressions of Edom and for four. I will not turn away the punishment thereof. You can read why for each one of these things. I'm going to keep making the point that God makes so emphatically. You know, he could have just said, for these guys, and 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 these guys. For three transgressions and four. No, he chooses in purposes doing it over and over and over and over and over. Gee, I wonder why. Parable of the fig tree. What's the transgression that this pictures? It pictures or figures. It pictures the covenant with Satan in 2015 on the Day of Atonement. Absolutely. Verse 13, Thus saith the Lord, For three transgressions of the children of Ammon, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they have ripped up the women with child of Gilead, that they might enlarge their border. Chapter 2, verse 1, Thus saith the Lord, For three transgressions of Moab, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he burned the bones of the king of Edom into lime. Verse 4, 
Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Judah and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Because they have despised the law of the Lord. What part specifically? Thou shalt have no other gods before thee. Thou shalt worship no one but Yahweh, Elohim of hosts, creator of heaven and earth, among others. Among other transgressions, among other... I will not turn away the punishment thereof because they have despised the law of the Lord and not kept his commandments. That's what I mean by and others. And their lies caused them to err after which their fathers have walked. This is not a new thing. This is an age old thing. They grew. They got, they got sent into captivity in Babylon and became worse in idolatry than the Babylonians. Imagine that. And they've gotten worse ever since. That's what the word says. I don't know them, but God's word is clear. But I will send a fire upon Judah, and it shall devour the palaces of Jerusalem. Verse 5. 2 6. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Israel, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they sold the righteous for silver, and the poor for a pair of shoes. The treacherous dealers have dealt very treacherously. And they think that they're going to be saved from the overflowing, overflowing scourge. Isaiah 28, 15. Oh, you made a covenant with death. Verse 15. You think you're good to go. No. You are not. By the way, four in every one of those places is Strong's number 702. It is full circle in 72 because that's where it's all leading. After that, cut it down. Thank God. We are saved from the wrath to come. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to his exalted, precious son, Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Blessings to you. I love you guys so much.